I'm in the dressing room on probably one of the most exciting nights of the year. This is Festival Hall, uh, Melbourne. It's the closing of the 1979 tour of Sammy Davis Jr. Outside, the atmosphere out there is absolutely electric. There are people from every walk of life who have arrived to see this, uh, this great closing night of probably what would be considered to be the world's greatest entertainer. And uh, we're happy here at the Nine Network to be able to present it to you. Sam, uh, did you ever think it was going to be this big out there? No, I never did. And it scares me to death. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to wear the vest. I didn't. I, I didn't. Uh, uh, it is nice, but I tell you what's really—it's a compliment, and it's also frightening to know that, beside the customers who have been so supportive to me on this trip, uh, a lot of the pros are out there. You know, people from all walks of life in the arts, you know, and that's kind of frightening. People are coming back for the second time. A lot of people that were here the first night. But if it had to be filmed, I'm glad that at least I'm with friends like yourself and uh, pleasant surroundings. And we'll go out and try to lay one on it. That's all. I think you're going to do it. And I think you have got the best seat in the house to see the world's greatest performer. And right now, out on stage, is that right? Are they ready? You're about to see the Australian cast of Chorus Line. We're going to kick us off with a big number from Chorus Line called One. You hang on to your hat because you're going to see the best entertainment you ever saw. Sammy, Thank you, man. break a leg. And me, what? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to you all. Thank you for coming. This is closing night for me, and it's uh, to see your faces, to have you here. Uh, I'm glad. Of being televised is kind of special. But I, gotta, I, I just got to say something to the television audience. Ladies and gentlemen, those of you at home who will be watching this show, you got to imagine, no matter where you live, 
what your station in life is, you are at Festival Hall tonight. So there will be no reference or things pointing to the camera or anything else. As a matter of fact, we made a, a, a rule with our director. I don't know where the cameras are because my main purpose tonight, as is always when I entertain an audience, is to try to entertain the audience. You are part of the audience at home. So know that. Let's lay a good one on the people, shall we, George? Sing a song, make it simple to last your whole life long. Don't worry if it's not good enough for anyone else to hear. Sing, sing a song. Yeah. Hey, that's sweet, man. That's very nice. Do you know that we have Don Lane's conductor in the sax section tonight? Isn't that marvelous? What a nice thing to do. Because we had such fun when we did the shows with Don. Thank you, babe. Thank you very much. Oh, who can take a sunrise, sprinkle it with dew? Thank you. Cover it with chocolate or a lyric color too. The candy man, the candy man can. Candy man can, cause he mixes it with love to make the world taste good. Oh, who can take a rainbow? Wrap it in a side Soak it in the sun And make a groovy lemon pie The candy man The candy man can Yeah, the candy man can Cause he mixes it with love To make the world taste good The dishes Who can take tomorrow Put it in a dream Separate the sorrow Then collect up all the cream The candy man The candy man can Yeah, the candy man can Cause he mixes it with love To make the world taste good Talk about your childhood wishes You can eat 
can even eat the conditions. Oh, who can take tomorrow? Put it in a dream. Separate the sorrow, then collect up all the cream. The candy man. Yeah, the candy man can. Mmm, the candy man can. Cause he mixes it with love to make the world taste good. Hey, candy man, candy man, a candy man, a candy man, a candy man, a candy man. Uh, you want to do that? No? I don't think I want to do that now. Okay, I won't, I won't upset the band yet. But know now, there are a couple of surprises coming. Ha, 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 ha. Thought you'd get a kick out of it. Bang. <laughs> Look out. We'll do the theme from Beretta. Here we go. Don't go to bed with no price on your head. Don't do it. Don't walk the beat if you can't stand. No, don't do it. Keep your eye on the sparrow when the golden it's not Don't do it. Don't do the crime if you can't do the time. Hear what I say, uh huh. Don't do it, just keep your eye on the sparrow when the going is narrow. Don't do it, don't walk the beat if you can't stand the heat. Turn away till you hear what I say. No, don't do it. Don't do the crime if you can't do the time. No, don't do it. Don't sing the blues if you can't pay them dues. Oh, don't do it. All right. Move. Let's do ladies. There they go. Uh, uh-huh. It wasn't lined up that way at rehearsal, was it? That's the fun. You nice folks at home as well as you nice folks in the theater. The only way, you know, performers say, here's a song I'd like to do, and this is completely off the cuff. The only way you really know is watch the band. But if they digging through the music... <laughs> If you were close enough, you'd hear him do it. Why don't he do the numbers that he said he was going to do? <laughs> I don't work that way. I'm sorry. I got... Sometimes it's a little delay, but then we'll go back to the original. Okay, George? <laughs> Marvelous. I thought you'd get a big kick out of that. <laughs> I've wined and dined on Mulligan stew. I've never wished for turkey. I've hitched and hiked and drifted to from Maine to Albuquerque. When I go to Hong Kong, 
I try to play it cool. I'll take seven of those, 12 of those, and 10 of those. <laughs> I'm sorry to say that I've never met Mr. Peter O'Toole. Social circles spin too fast for me. My a whole bohemia, that's the place I want to be. Huh, huh, huh. She gets too hungry for dinner at eight. She adores the theater, but won't arrive there late. She'll never argue with someone she hates. And that's why the lady is a tramp. Won't go to Coney. Malibu is fine, loves the French Riviera, in season decline, refuses to believe Princess Grace is a friend of mine. That's why the lady is a tramp, likes that free, fresh wind in her hair, life without care. She's flat. And that's that for Billy D. Williams. She whistles and stamps. That's why the lady, lady, lady is a tramp. George Rose and the orchestra, ladies and gentlemen. That free, fresh wind in her hair. Her life without care. She is from Bonito, hates California. Then smoky and damp. That's why the lady is a tramp. Why the lady? Why the lady? Let's do our, my favorite song. People ask me all the time, which is your favorite? For a lot of reasons, this one is. I think not because of the theatricality of a, of a Mr. Bojangles, which is really kind of special. Right? Yeah. <laughs> which we will do later in the show. But uh, this song has a, a great deal of importance to me because when I first recorded it around nine years ago, I guess, I didn't realize until several years later that that's where my head was going. And when I... <laughs> Why me, Lord? Uh, uh, it was a... Uh, it's an important song for me, because it's my credo, really. This is how I feel about my life, where my head is. So we'd like to do it for him. George. Whether I'm right or whether I'm wrong, 
Whether I find a place in this world I never belong I gotta be me I gotta be me What else can I be but what I am I want to live Not merely survive And I won't give up the dream of life That keeps me alive I gotta be me, I gotta be me The dream that I see Makes me what I am That far away prize The world of success It's waiting for me If I'll heed the call I won't settle down Or settle for less As long as there's a chance I can have it all, I'll go it alone If that's how it must be, I can't be right for somebody else If I'm not right for me, I gotta be free I gotta be free, daring to try to do it or die I gotta be me I can't be right if I'm not right for me. I gotta be free, and I'm gonna be free, daring to try to do it or die. I gotta be me. I gotta get out of this gear. I've been alive forever. I wrote the very first songs. I put the words and melodies together. I am music and I write the songs I write the songs that make the whole world sing I write the songs of love and special things I write the songs that make the young girls cry I write the songs my heart lies deep within you I got my own place in your soul And when I look up through your eyes I am young again, though I'm feeling kind of old I write the songs that make the whole world sing I write the songs of love and Special things I write the songs That make the young girls cry Yeah, I write the songs Music to make you dance They could give your spirit a chance I even wrote some rock and roll So you can live Music moves your heart Well, that's a very good place to start It's for me
Let's do a little bit of uh, if I, can we? I don't want to do that. Richard Rogers and Oscar Hammerstein the second. Of all the shows that I've, that I've had the fortune, the pleasure of doing on Broadway, which include three, really. Uh, in the 50s, Mr. Wonderful. In the 60s, Golden Boy. In the 70s, Stop the World, I Want to Get Off. Uh, the one that, there's always one that a performer says, I wish I had done. I wanted to play the leprechaun in Finian's Rainbow, you know. Well, I mean, I could have played it. You know, nobody's ever seen a leprechaun. He could be black. <laughs> and uh, I never got a chance to. Another show I wanted to do, though I'm physically wrong for it in every sense of the word, but only because of the great score, was Carousel. Because Billy Biglow has great songs to sing. And there's a moment in the show where, with his, his attitude of being a braggart and what he's accomplished in life when really is a failure, and the lady who loves him says, well, don't you love me? And he finally, in his most inarticulate way, uh, has to sing this song, which is a great moment for the character. If I loved you Time and again I would try to say Oh I'd want you to know If I loved you Words wouldn't come in an easy way around in circles I'd go Longing to tell you But afraid and shy I'd let my golden chances Pass me by soon You'd leave me Off you would go in the mist of day Never, never to know Loved you. 
Thank you. From a chorus line in our, in our first album. Francisco Pitter Pat. I said I can do that. Yeah, I can do that. Learned all her steps right off the bat. Saying I can do that. Yeah, I can do that. One day my sis don't go to her dance class. So I grabbed her shoes and tights and all. But my foot's too small, so I stuffed her shoes with extra socks. Ran seven blocks and nothing flat. Yeah, I can do that. I know that I can do that. too small but I went to class and had it made and there I stayed for the rest of my life all thanks to sis now married and fat if she could do this hell that I can do This is usually the closing number. Tonight it isn't. So just. <laughs> you don't get your money's worth tonight. Whether you want it or not. <laughs> I got you trapped in here now. You'll never get away. Arr. Arr, me hearties. I forgot to do that tonight. Let me do that. Keep the bait going. Buckos. I know where there's more gold than any man Jack here has ever seen. And only a slip of a lad can get us there, and his name is Jamie Hawkins. So come on, me lads. Off we go to Treasure Island. <laughs> How many guys are doing that one, Don? Gotta have some personal giggles too. <laughs> I 
I knew a man who drank was any dance for you. In worn out shoes, silver hair, ragged shirt, baggy pants. He would do the old soft shoe. He could jump so high, jump so high. And then he'd lightly touch down. I met him in a cell in New Orleans. I was. See, I was down and out. He looked to me to be the very eyes of age. As he spoke right out, talk to the light, talk to the light, laugh. Slapped his leg a step. He said his name was Bojangles. Then he danced a lick. Right across the cell, he grabbed his pants, make a better stance, jump up high. <laughs> That's when he. Click his heels. Then he'd let go that lap. <laughs> Lord, <laughs> Lord, Lord, he'd let go the lap and kind of shake back his clothes all around. That was Mr. Bojangles. Mr. Bojangles, Mr. Bojangles, the man could dance. He told me of the times he worked with minstrel shows, traveling throughout the South. Spoke with tears of fifteen years. Now his dog and he, they would travel about. But his dog up and died. The dog just got old and died. And after twenty years, he still grieves. He said, I dance now at every chance and all the time. All my drinks and chips. But most of the time, I, I spend behind these county bars. You see, son, I, I drink so bit. And he shook his head.
dance Please go gentles We need to see you Dance again Mr. Bojangles See there's There's no one around today that can do that Not like you did it Mr. Bo Mr. Bo Mr. Bo Mr. Bo Mr. Bo Mr. Bo Jangles Mr. Bo There is something that I want to do for you. Uh, call it a parting gift from a performer to a, to a beautiful audience. I should say a grateful performer to a beautiful audience. And, uh, but it takes a little explaining. And I've only done it once since I've been in Australia. I did it one time in Sydney, opening night. I think we should open and close your, your visits with something that means a great deal to you. I spoke earlier of being involved in a show in the 70s on Broadway called Stop the World, I Want to Get Off, which was written by Leslie Brickers and Anthony Newley. Uh, for 18 weeks, it was one of the great theatrical experiences of my life because I got a chance to strip myself of all of the, the doodahs that go along with trying to maintain the position of being a personality. Because I had to become Little Chap, the character's name. Now, for those of you who are familiar with the show, you know that the show traces the man from his early 20s till he gets to be in his late 80s. And what we've tried to do is to condense two hours and 20 minutes into nine minutes. It is a very heavy piece, but I would like to offer it for you because uh, it means a great deal to me to perform it. Uh, know that this is a man, little chap, who goes through his life thinking and making sure that the world is his oyster. But when he gets in the later years of his life, he finds himself alone. He's lost his wife, his kids, the respect of his fellow businessmen, and he's a lonely man because he went for the wrong rainbows. He didn't go for the humanistic side. He went for the crass commercialism of life. And he became wealthier than he ever thought, but he lost the most important things. So bear with me, if you will, and let us present to you a musical collage, if you will allow us to call it that, of Stop the World, I Want to Get Off. Just once in a lifetime A man knows a moment 
One wonderful moment when fate takes his hand. And this is my moment, my once in a lifetime when I can explore a new and exciting land. Oh, once in my lifetime I feel like a giant I soar like an eagle as though I had wings for this is my moment, my destiny calls me, and though this may be just once in my life. But I want to be rich, get money to earn. A thousand a week will do me a turn. Give me half a chance in the south of France to make my pitch, and I'll be dirty, rotten, filthy, stinking rich. Gonna build a mountain from a little hill. Gonna build me a mountain. I hope I will Gonna build a mountain Gonna build it high I don't know how I'm gonna do it I only know I'm going And with a fine young son Who can take my place I'll leave a son In my heaven on earth With a good Lord's grace Is a woman an endless surprise, always opening up your heart and closing your eyes, bending your brain, showering you with sunshine, love, and pain. Just like a woman, life changes each day. Holds you closely to her heart, then throws you away. What can you say? Guess it's one more game we learn. To play and like a woman, life can save your soul with a kiss, one gentle kiss, and all the anger 
all the fear, all the pain and sadness disappear. Being a woman will never give in takes a special kind of fool to think he can win. Who wants to win? Life is a Could someone nice like you, Evie, fall in love with one like me? When I think of all the men you could have loved, the men you should have loved, who would have So much more than me, Evie. Believe in me, Evie. You know it's true. But if we could live twice, I'd make life paradise. For someone really nice Like you Evie Evie She's gone They've all It seems that I'm the only one that I have been thinking of. What kind of man is this? An empty shell. A lonely cell in which an empty heart must dwell. What kind of lips are they? That lie with every kiss. That whispered empty words of love that's left me alone. Why can't I? Why can't I fall in love like any other man? And maybe then I'll know what kind of fool 
And maybe 